Big, big facts, man. You know, one thing about a fool, they don't know when to shut up. Let me say that again. One thing about a fool, they don't know when to shut up. Matter of fact, a fool is not aware of his, of what he say, of, of the, the, of the dangers of what he says, of the ignorance of what he says. He's not aware of, of that. Even if he is aware of that, He's numb to it. He thinks he can get a pass by saying it. What I'm trying to say is Keefe D is a goddamn fool. And this is God's doing, man. This really is a higher, a higher power's doing. Because God, the thing about God, if you ain't conscious uh, uh, to know what you do, that's why in the Bible it says, forgive them, Lord. They know not what they do. <laughs> you, they fools. They know not what they do. Forgive them. They know not. They're not consciously aware of what they do. And then, it seems to me, Keith, he wanted to go to prison. You know what I'm saying? It would seem that way, right? It would seem like this fool must want to go to jail. Because he's just out there with it. Yeah. When the when when Greg Caden told this fool, man, if you say you confess today, this is a queen for a day. You can't if you say anything outside this day about what you saying to us right now, we can't protect you from going to prison. And what do this fool do? This fool go doing all these interviews I mean it, it must be some what is in the water these days man with these fools man um they doing the thing for clout like what is it about clout that got these fools out of their mind it's all God's doing bro this is all God's plan man you got to believe in a higher power, bro. If you didn't believe, if if there was no higher power, we wouldn't have structure in society. We wouldn't have the police. Who the hell want to be a police? Who who the hell want to do that job? It got to be a God. Who the hell want to be a policeman, man? Who the hell would want to be a policeman? The shit they got to put up with? Who the fuck want to be a police? It got to be a God. Who the fuck want to be a prison guard? It got to be a goddamn God. A prison guard. You want to work in a prison? You want to be a prison guard, bro? With all these killers being surrounded with all these killers and niggas throwing shit in your face. and Possibility of a nigga throwing shit in your face. I listen to the flea stories. Booty bandit stories. You, you serving time with the inmates. Who the fuck want that job? possibility of you getting shanked beat up who the f for nineteen dollars an hour are you out of your fucking mind it got to be a god man because if it wasn't society would, would would fall it would be chaotic it would be chaos in the streets it would be there would be no society it had to be a, it got to be a higher power with structure that's this, that's put it in man's mind to do what he do and God put it in Keefe D's mind to do what he did. To be a goddamn fool. And get on these interviews and talk. And, and basically confess. And basically, you know, just say what he wasn't supposed to say. Idiot. God did that. God will lead you to destruction, man. You know what I'm saying? If, you, if you're not aware... It's your God will lead you, lead you to grace, and He will lead you to destruction according to what you deserve. According to you reap what you sow. My grandma used to always say that you reap 
what you sow. You get what you work for. You get what you put in. The same thing. You get what you put in. So if you put in destruction, you're going to get destruction. If you put in ignorance, you're going to get ignorance. If, if you put in foolery, you're going to get foolery. Double foolery. You're going to get double what you put in, man. You go out here robbing people, you're going to get that back. You're going to go to prison. You might get raped in prison. You reap what you sown. A lot of tough guys end up, thought they was tough. When they got to prison around other tough guys, they realized, oh, I ain't tough. I need me a, a husband. I need to find me a husband. I ain't tough as I thought I was. Prison brought out the ho prison brought the hoe out you. That hoe was always in you. It took prison to bring that hoe out you. You ain't know you ain't know you can be broken like that. You you never was broken in a day in your life till you went to prison. Motherfuckers beat you up, broke your spirit. Now you wearing lipstick. You never thought you'd be broken like that. You thought you was a tough guy. Come to find out, you were just a hoe. A whole time you was a hoe. Didn't even know it. Prison to bring that hoe out you. If you wear lipstick, yeah. But, <laughs> I'm saying that to say, That fool. I'm saying that to say that God brought the fool out of Keefe D. Karma. This is his karma, man. God brought the fool out of Keefe D. All this time, he was just going along with his destruction. All this time, he was being a being an, you know, being a, being his own witness to destruction. This whole time he was testifying against him, against himself. That's God's doing. God will blind you, will lead you to destruction. It's your choice the whole time. But hey, you, okay, you want to do this? I'm gonna lead you right to it. That's what God told Keith. Okay. You want to get on here and, lead, and do these interviews and talk like you talking? Okay, I'm going to lead you right. I'm going to lead you right to where you want to go. I'm going to lead you right to where you want to go. Because, like I said, the beat, there's an underlining guilt there that I believe Keith D wanted to go to prison. How else can you explain this shit? Yeah, he wanted to go. Deep down, a deep, there's a deep down subconscious. And it's deep down subconscious. Keefe D did everything to put himself in, in prison. And that's God leading the way. God leading the way. Okay. This is what you want to do, Keefe? Okay, I'm going to lead you right. I'm going to lead you right to the iron bars. Because this is where you want to go subconsciously. You might try to act tough in the interviews and, and smile and laugh. But deep down, you felt guilty. You had a guilty conscience. That's why you say what you said. You know it was going to lead you back to prison. Now, consciously, you might not want, want to go. Consciously, you might feel like, I'm getting away with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna write a book. I'm gonna do some interviews. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm I'm protected. The hell with Greg K to say. I know what my lawyer said. My lawyer said I'm good. So I'm gonna get out here and do everything I I, I can do to profit off this shit. But the subconscious had a different plan. I'm gonna do everything I can to put this nigga in jail. <laughs> I'm gonna let this nigga talk his way to prison. I'm gonna let this nigga talk himself in the handcuffs. That that's what his subconscious. Was leading him to. Mm. 
my my every move is a calculated step to bring me closer to a quick and early death to there's nothing left. That's the subconscious talking. You know what I mean? That's a subconscious talking. So, yeah. Like I said, and deep down, this motherfucker wanted to go to prison. He wanted to go back. Deep down, he know, you know what I'm saying? He feels he deserves to be in prison. That's why he doing the shit he do. Nobody can understand the subconscious, but the, the subconscious, that's God. God, That's God leading you to where you really want to go. Even though you may say on, a, on, on the surface, no, nah, I, I don't want to go, but deep down, yes, you do. And this is where Keefe D really wanted to be. He wanted to be in handcuffs. You can't explain it no other way. Any fool, any, any person in their right mind. If a motherfucker told me, now you can't talk about this outside this day, or you or you you risk being arrested. And I get out there and start talking anyway. I, I'm a goddamn fool. I I want, I deserve what I'm gonna get. I don't give a fuck what I get. And deep down, I want to go. I want to go to jail. I want to go to prison. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about my life. I want to go. Now, a person that act like that, talk like that, think like that, subconsciously think like that, ain't nothing you can do about it. Ain't nothing he can do about it. He led himself to destruction. And he didn't even know it. Unless the man just mentally mentally challenged. He led himself to destruction and didn't even know it. But the subconscious know it. Subconscious led you to destruction. Who the fuck want to go to prison? Who the fuck want to smell another man farting in his goddamn little small cell? Who the fuck want to smell a man's shit in a cell? You sharing a cell, you got to smell this motherfucker shit, fart, burp. You got to live, live with this motherfucker. Or live in a big dorm. Who, who, who want to live like that? You out of your fucking mind, bro. Who want to live like that? You 60 years fucking old, bro. Shut your fucking mouth. But this God's plan. Like I said, this God's plan, man. God is in control. That's why we have police. That's why we have a structured society. God is in control. We are. We think we in control. We we don't even control our own thoughts. You know what I'm saying? We can't control what thoughts pop in our head. Who's putting these thoughts in our head? We ain't doing it. Who gave Mariah Carey the, the ability to sing? She didn't do it. Who gave you your looks? You didn't do it. Or you might say my parents. Well, who gave your parents they looks? You are programmed since birth to be who you are. You ain't in control of shit. You going along with the program. You are programmed since birth to be who you are. There's a higher power controlling this shit. Doing everything. And we just... Going along on the ride. We just in for the ride. 
Yeah, we have choices, but that's about it. Our purpose is to make choices. That's our purpose in life is to make choices. Is to is to choose between what we get. Is to choose between what this higher power is bringing us. The higher power going to bring us Coke and Pepsi. And we got to make a choice on what we going to choose to drink. You going to drink Coke or Pepsi? Or you going to turn left or right? I'll put it this way. You had a you had a stop sign. You can either go left or right. Make your choice. That that's our purpose in life. We got to make choices. But everything else was made for us. Everything else was designed and put on us. We got to make choices. We got to play our hand. It's like playing playing spades. You get dealt a hand from the higher powers. You get dealt a hand. Oh, I got the ability. Uh, I got skills. I got you know. I'm I'm six nine. I was dealt that six nine hand. You know, I w- I was dealt that a perfect body hand. You know, I was I was dealt that uh, the good born in a good family hand. You know, I was dealt that uh, athletic hand. Now it's your choice. How you gonna play that hand? You can either strive to go to the NBA. Or you can strive to be a, the best criminal and be in prison. Play your hand. How you going to play it? You got a choice. Play your hand. How You got to play it to the best of your ability. And how you play it is even programmed. How you think is even programmed. We at the mercy we at the mercy of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But, Keefe D. Yeah, bro. You reap what you sow. And I don't know if he gonna get off. Who knows? But, uh, it don't matter. He brought this, it don't matter if he get off or not. It got to this point because of Keefe D being a goddamn fool. You know what I'm saying? So, he brought this on himself, basically. Is all I'm saying. The man brought this shit on himself. Peace out.